if anything excites me about this is the fact that at least we are getting a definition for startup in Nigeria. We know startup will no longer be classified under SMEs you get and every other small businesses. Now you are seeing people that are bringing solutions with tech innovations. But look, going by what has happened in the past, right? And even when tech, the, the tech, tech startups are not really recognized, but regulators knew they existed, you get. And they've been trying to enter conversations with them, which has not really been going well. With the case of say the right dealing platforms, yes, and then there was a time crowdfunding platforms also received. So, how would this make a difference, right? Yes, they are, they are promising us that this will encourage, this will foster conversations with the government. So, how would this be different from what we've always had before? Okay, so I think what we have to take note of is that there's no any environment that we admire globally is not a wild wild west mm. right um we have startups in nigeria that are currently registered in delaware right so i ask you why right mm -hmm. when they fill out forms they're submitting themselves to dozens of rules and regulations and policies mm. right and a lot of the the pre-thinking a lot of the uh, foundational stuff is behind every document you fill. They say fill document 5221, you fill it. Fill document 3362, you fill it. Your lawyer is filling it for you. Mm -hmm. You are signing and you are excited. Mm -hmm. But you are you are being subjected to rules that guides the relationship. Mm -hmm. Right? So what we don't have here is that we don't have those rules that guide the relationship, but yet you demand relationship. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm not your boyfriend, but meanwhile, you said we are together. Mm -hmm. So key is to form a relationship. What the Nigeria Startup Bill is, it sets the foundation. So if you read the bill, if you ever take a hold of the bill, you will see that it drops, it puts seedlings for different things. The bill itself is, is based on, found, on, founded on collaboration and engagement. Right, that's the fu fu fundamental uh, part of the bill. Essentially, the way the bill was developed is based on collaboration and engagement. So if you think about it, this bill has happened very quickly. Yeah, it's, it's you know it's it's, so it's under twenty four months. Average bill takes three years, three to four years, mm. right? That's because the approach for the bill, which we call the big tent approach, really started off by pulling in all parties, right? If you're able to get a video of the uh, the public hearing from the from the Senate public hearing, you will hear MDAs go up there and say, "Oh, we support the bill mm. because this 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 we're already doing this and this is in line what we're trying to do mm. because they were engaged, right? Mm. So the big tent approach begged for us to the idea of it you know I, if you guys ever i always hate to say circus because it sounds like it's a big joke but you know if you if you ever picture the circus tent right mm -hmm. if you ever see the, those movies with the circus yeah mm -hmm. you will notice the circus tent is held up by poles yeah, and sure. there's no door mm -hmm. that's what we mean when we say the big tent approach right as in the door is open and you are welcome to come and be a pole in this tent any one of you tech points as a as a media entity is welcome to come in there and be a pole you know, uh, MDAs are welcome to come in and be a poll. The lawyer who is coming on shortly is welcome to come in and be a poll to add value to making it better, right? Um, so, the, so when you look at it from that perspective, it already forms the basis in which, you know, engagement will happen between the, the private sector and the and the, and the public sector and the government. And we, even from the process, you know, some uh, some people will say, okay, what is the bill? What, when is the bill going to have impact? Mm. Right, and I would say to them, you know, interestingly enough, it's already having small, small impact. Even the way we look at the ecosystem. Um, if anybody ever reads my background, um, they didn't they didn't bomb me in government, right? Mm -hmm. Right before I joined government, maybe a, a few months, well, not a few months ago, maybe it's going almost going to two years. Actually, this August will make two years. I was a private sector person in, in Lagos. I, I run a company. Company is still there. It's over seventeen years old, right? So we are a participator in this in this in this economy, right? And you know. One of the key things we've already started understanding is that when we say ecosystem, we always think it's us, is me, the startup guy, me that invests in startups, you that is the media guy from startups, you know, we are the ecosystem. We tend to forget that the ecosystem has other players in it, right? Mm -hmm. So the ecosystem, we now see the ecosystem, beginning to start seeing the ecosystem, or preaching the ecosystem as a practitioner, which is those who are doing value creation, and policymakers. Glitters. Both make the ecosystem. Right. Mm -hmm. So what we're not driving for is a healthy ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Some of those things you just mentioned is an unhealthy ecosystem, 
right? So the NSB helps create that environment for that to happen. So if you look at the the bill, the very first thing off the bat it starts with the council. Yeah, mm. yeah. You say why? What a council? What? What? So the reason why it has a council is that the council is 